Hey guys, welcome to the corner. It's Spanky here. And today I am doing a video response to uh, Tanya McGuire's 1000 Subbies giveaway. And uh, happy anniversary to her. She's made it one year of uploading videos. That's awesome. So I will link the video below to her giveaway and you can check it out. I believe she's got it open until February. I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on that. But to enter, you can get one entry for commenting on the video and how you found her channel. You can get two entries for sharing the video and message her to let her know where you shared it. You can get three entries if you send a four by six handmade postcard because she wants to brighten the day of her grumpy male lady. <laughs> she needs to smile, she says. And you get five entries if you make a YouTube video of you making your postcard and linking to the video in the description box. So yes, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be using my favorite paper, the oil and acrylic by Canson. It's my all time favorite paper. I love it. Um, I will be doing this color combo, the phthalo blue and green. And if you look, you can see the textures. This is from the paper. I absolutely love this paper and it's always been my go-to lately whenever I do anything. So, I mean, look at that texture there. Maybe it'll show up. There we go. The texture is amazing on this paper and I absolutely love it. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. And I usually get about three postcards, four postcards, depending on the size. So these have to be four by six. So let me look. Yeah, four by six. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so let me put that back in here. But I love this paper. It's my all time favorite paper. I love the feel of it. It's got like a, I can't even explain. It's kind of like a canvas texture, but it's, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna do my best to keep the backside clean. We will see. I got my scrap book here to wipe off my brayer. I have my glass mat here, which is what I'll put the paint on. And then I will use my brayer to transport over onto this. And then, yeah, so I have a couple brayers here. And let's see, this is my favorite brayer to use. This one's getting broke in there. Some of the certain colors stain them, but that's okay. And I have a couple stamps I want to use. So I'm just working with these two colors. I liked how they turned out on that other one. So these are going to be the colors I use. And I will add some black. Maybe. We'll see how it looks. Oops. All right, here. Put some blue out. And some green and this is artist loft phalo blue and then I have this basics lipotex it's a brilliant yellow green Let's squeeze some of that out so first thing I'm gonna do is run my brayer around on my glass mat like that paint and I'm just going to go in all sorts of different directions and I'm not going to give it 100% coverage because I want to add the green now. So we're going to add some of this green here. I love how these colors blend together. Okay. 
that's just going to give me my background layer. And if I feel like I'm not getting enough color on it, then I can add to it. If you haven't checked out Tanya's channel, she's got some amazing videos, great tutorials. Uh, she's got a really good junk journal, junk, 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 junk journal series. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I need to finish actually catching up with that series because I really like that series. So I'm just going over, blending this back and forth. And I'll add some more blue on. Just keep layering up those colors. So I'm going to hit this with the heat gun really quick so then I can add another bit of the green on there so it doesn't blend. Alright, there we go. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the green. Spread that out a little bit. Just a little bit to brighten it up in some spots. There we go. All right, so now let me grab a, I'm just gonna grab a piece of paper here. I'm just gonna rub the rest of that off onto that paper. And then I'll wipe my mat up. Pretty. All right. And I will speed through this part why I wipe this up. Okay. Oh, not too bad. I didn't get much on the back. Just a little. Figure out what I want to use. I'm going to go with white. And I like how that's turned out so far. a little bit and dry. I'm going to wrap my sponge up with my baby wipe so it stays moist so I don't have to get up and go rinse it really quick. I'm very picky about my stencils. I'm always wiping them off after I use them or I go and wash them really quick. Um, I don't like them to be stained. This is one of my stencils I made, so I'm very particular with some of them. I like to kind of keep them clean. Okay. And now I'll let that 
to the second. Grab my paper towel here and wipe this off. There we go. Okay. So now I need this here because I will round the corners. I love rounding the corners on that. So we're going to trim this down. I think it's still damp. Yeah. Let me take the heat gun to this really quick and then we'll go to the next step. Whenever I dry my pieces on my glass mat, the moisture gets down on there. So I usually like to dry that off. Yeah, we're good. All right. So I'm going to take my cutter here, and they got to be a four by six. So I'll cut it four this way. quite a few out of this and some leftover oh that one's cut wrong that one's four by five oops <laughs> this one's four by six though let's see here yep that one's good I'm used to cut them four by fives so Alright, so we'll get several sizes here. Go oh, here. Alright, so I'll set them on the side. So we have one, two, three, four by six. Yes, we're good. Good. All right, so we're going to use the corner chomper here. That one. I gotta decide which one I'm gonna send her. texture on this one so that's the one we're gonna do is that one and I have my dandelion stamp and I'm gonna use that and I also have a word sentiment this is a I got this from a thrift store I haven't even used it yet Ooh, almost cut my finger that one I've been good to do in a live video <laughs> But leave it to me to do that. Oh, they're not even mounted yet. Interesting. Okay, so we will um, I guess it don't matter which side it goes on, does it? No, we will mount it. Just like that. Alright. And what I'm going to do is I am going to use, if I can figure out where I stuck it, reverse mark. I had it. Let me go get it. Got it. So the same. This is a Stampin' Up set. I don't know how old it is, but. And it goes like this.
2005, so that's an old set. And this says, all I have seen teaches me to trust the creator for all I have not seen. Ralph, somebody, somebody. So, I think that's going to be a good sentiment quote, whatever you want to call it on there. Okay, so, I'm, and I'm going to use some black embossing powder for that. I need to find a piece of paper to shake it off with. We'll use this. Okay. Get it nice and gooey. All right, we're gonna stick this up in the top, and I think I'll put my. Hmm, maybe I'll do it like this. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay. And I see the stuff there, so hopefully it took really good. And we're going to go ahead and mock up this one. And then I think I'll go ahead and angle like that. And wipe them off really quick. powder down oh that's gonna be pretty you can't really see what the words say but I still think it's pretty I'm gonna use my brush here and go around and wipe off some of the extra pieces, the extra bits. going to dump this back in really quick close that lid up because I have dumped one already before and that was not a good thing <laughs> okay okay that and now we're going to he said it Super pretty, actually. Auto focus here. It's got a super pretty shine to it. I think that's gorgeous. The video really doesn't show the color much. It's got a nice color to it. Set a minute. I'm liking that. So 
So then what I'm gonna do is let's see here. There we go. That's a little better. I will mark the edges up with what is that dry? Yeah. That's nice and smooth. That looks really nice. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Did I keep the back clean? Yes, I did. Yay. All right, so I'll swap out my blending body. I'm just going to go over the edges. There you have it. This is my entry for Tony McGuire's 1000 subbies and anniversary giveaway. I hope you like it. And good luck, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to check out the description box because I will link her video down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.